Hi, my name is Max Peterson. I'm doing a presentation on improving your perception of others for Professor Sharma at North Dakota State University. People's perception of others varies in many different ways. How exactly can you make your initial perception of others not be judgmental or stereotypical? I don't think there's a distinct answer to that question, but there are ways you can improve your perception of others. Uh, my first example is uh, Tupac Shakur. Uh, what, what do you see? A uh, tattooed African American, a famous rapper, a thug, a gangster who died in a, a gun battle? Or a man who was named after an Inca chief uh, who studied ballet and acting, whose mother made him read the New York Times on a daily basis. It's all about your personal perception. And obviously, people have different personal perceptions of others. Uh, in my own opinion, uh, it's based off your environment you were raised as a child, who raised you, um, what was around you who is your major influences, I feel like that's the, the, the blocks of your perception of others. Um, but you can improve your perception, and uh, the first step to improving your perception of others is empathy. According to Campbell and Barbo, empathy is one of the most valuable tools for communicating competently with others. Uh, the word empathy comes from the Greek word empathia, meaning feeling into. Uh, according to Kuhn, when we experience empathy, we feel into others' thoughts and emotions, make an attempt to understand their perspectives and be aware of their feelings in order to identify with them. Uh, empathy consists of two components, perspective taking and empathetic concern. Perspective taking is the ability to see things from someone else's vantage point without necessarily experiencing that person's feelings. Completely communicate the perspective taking part of empathy. Let others know that you're generally interested in what they have to say. Uh, an example for that would be a college student being in a group project. Communicating by saying, you know, I'd love to hear your ideas, or can you tell me what you think of this? That's perspective taking, and that's one major uh, role in empathy. Uh, and the second would be concern, becoming aware of how the other person is feeling regarding their emotional state. And uh, in empathy, it's important to avoid using I know messages. Uh, others might be like, patronizing, uh, like saying, I know, what, I know what that means, or I know what that is. Just stick to basic. Uh, the second step to improving perception is world mindedness. Uh, according to Hammer, Bennett, World-mindedness is the acceptance uh, of, of and toward others' cultures, beliefs, values, and customs. And that's done in three ways. You need to accept others' cultural expressions as natural elements in their communication. Avoid the temptation to evaluate others' cultures as better or worse than your own. Uh, cons consistently treat people from different cultures with respect. I feel like that's just something natural everyone deserves respect. Um, the final step to improve your perception is perception checking. Uh, perception checking is a five-step process in which you apply the information from earlier to your perception of others now. The first step is to check your punctuation. Be aware of your own punctuation and keep in mind that people may see things differently than you. Uh, second step is check your knowledge perception of others is only as accurate as the information you know about them, and you can gain information about a person every time you meet them, so just you keep learning every time. Uh, the third step is check your attributions. Uh, avoid the common temptation to attribute others' communication and behavior exclusively to internal causes such as character and personality. The fourth step is check perceptual influences. Reflect on how culture, gender, and personality are shaping your perception. Uh, the fifth step is check your impressions. Uh, reflect on your impressions as you're forming them. Uh, strive to make flexible impressions and weigh all the new information that you get every time you meet the person, or every time you interact with the person, because your impression can change every time you meet that person, or every time you interact with them. Uh, 
how you know how you can hopefully improve your perception.